So I went ahead, washed off my brush, and I'm going to put some white and some blue on my brush. So I put the white on first and then some blue. So there's two colors in there. You just can't see the white. You can't see the white, but there you go. Um, it's good to keep it marbled on your brush so you can see that natural, um, the streaks come in natural for the clouds and it, it looks a little more organic. Um, as you start sweeping this through, you'll see the clouds appear, some of them. So go ahead and start from the top and we'll work our way down to where the yellow is. And again, reminding you to paint around the sides of the canvas if you can, so that you have that nice frame around it. So I'm gonna bring that color up on the top and around the sides as well. Adding white and blue. When I add more depth into the sky, just add pure blue in there and kind of sweep it through a few times so you don't lose it. That's kind of nice to have some dark clouds in there. And then if you want to add more of that, the light clouds, the wispy clouds in there, go ahead and add some of the white, pure white in there. Just lay it on and then brush through it a couple times. Very light. That's nice. Are you going to be taking this down all the way to the yellow? Um, yeah, we're going to take it down. Okay. And as we get closer to the yellow, we're going to just start working it in and we'll have to do a few different techniques to blend it into that yellow. So take it down up to the yellow for now. I'm going to add a little more white as I get closer to the yellow. Add some more white on your brush. I didn't wash my brush. Okay, and I'm gonna sneak up to it. And here's where it's kind of tricky. You don't wanna make a green color. So don't do too many pass-throughs when you're trying to blend down into the yellow. Just go right up to it for now. And then um, with a really light blue, so get some white and some blue on your brush. You can start to work it into the yellow carefully. You just do not want to do too much, too many pass-throughs or you will create green. And if you feel like you're doing too much of a green color, we can wait until it dries and come back to that too. So I'm just kind of pulling it through. See how you can you can hold the brush one of two ways. You can either sweep through this way or sweep through with the brush this way. And um, I would say horizontally is good for laying it on when you're trying to color blend. You're trying to get these straight lines into the yellow. Just turn your brush to where it's flat and just sneak it in there. And then um, if it turns green, you can, we can eliminate that in a little bit with some more yellow when it dries. So it's not too obvious right now in mine. But I would encourage you to bring some of that blue, sneak it in to the sides there. Also, I'm going to bring that blue down into the pink a little bit and we'll create a purple feel. See this over here? Um, right on the side here is a little bit of purple. So the, re the reason why it turned purple is because I put some of the blue into the blue sky into that pink while it was still wet. So I'm gonna add some more blue onto my brush, maybe a little less than that. And um, I'm just gonna kind of sneak it into the sides. Again, staying horizontal here and just sweeping it in. So 
So I've done a few. The more pass-throughs that you do, the more of a purple fill you'll get. So if you want that purple, maybe add a little bit more of the pink or, or even mix a purple with blue and pink, you can mix them together if you wanna have some purple in your sky. So I'm gonna mix a little bit off to the side here. Just a little bit of the pink and blue together. And I'm gonna sneak that into the sky here as well on top of the blue. Mine dried pretty quick. So a lot of back and forth with the sky and layers. So it's just adding what you want. And then if you feel like you put too much in there, you can always eliminate it by adding more pink. I'm gonna just touch a little bit more pink into my sky. I feel like maybe got a little too bold with the blue, so, or the purple blue. I'm just gonna kind of go over that blue with some pink and kind of sweep it through. And that's the cool thing about painting. If you feel like you don't like something, you can always paint over it. Sometimes you have to wait till it dries to be able to paint over it effectively. But I'm gonna wash all the blue out of my brush for a second. Let me check back with you guys. Let's see here, how's everybody doing? You guys ha getting a pretty sky there? Anybody need help? Can you look at anything? I'm just trying to figure out whether or not, um, I think my blue's too bold going into the yellow. Okay. Can you see it? Yep, I do see it. So what if you added a little bit of white in between both? Maybe you could do a pass through. Okay, just in between white. them. Yeah, maybe that'll help to kind of blend it. Don't do too With many pass throughs. Smaller. It's kind of what I did. Maybe to a smaller. It up. Maybe a smaller. Okay. Try that out. See that. So if you add too much purple or blue like I did, I'm just taking a little bit more pink, pure pink. I washed my brush off, and I'm going to add it back into the sky here. And I might even add a little bit of white into this pink to lighten it up a tiny bit and put some highlights in there. So you feel free to put some white into your pink. Kind of adds those wispy clouds. And your brush kind of picks up fun colors, some of the colors from the background. And or well, as you go over, it'll pick up some of the blues and the yellow and kind of move it around for you. So you have to be careful. But then again, it's kind of nice. It adds a little flair to your your painting and starts to blend nice. So a few extra pass-throughs here. I'm really liking the effect. How's everybody else with our color blending? Anybody have any questions? You guys doing good? Okay. <laughs> Let me know if you have questions. I've been looking at stuff. Oh, A technique that I really like um, to use when I'm painting the sky and clouds and a lot of different things, even the water, um, is when I lay an accent color on, I load up my brush really carefully, make sure it's kind of thin, and I sweep it into it very carefully, vertically or horizontally, horizontal first, and then I switch my brush this way and I pull through to pull that color through really good. But I do not overload my brush. So if you wanna just sneak a color in and then blend it, go this way first and then pull it through vertically, okay? Try that out if you wanna add a little bit of some of the white highlights or put some pink up higher. Cause you can pull that pink up into the sky a little bit if you want. This is your sky. We're painting happy little clouds today, right? Does this look blended enough? Let me look, hold on a second. Ooh, that looks beautiful. I love it. Um, okay. I'm thinking that if you added a little bit, it is a pretty blunt line, but that sky looks amazing. I like how you blended your, um, your, <laughs> your yellow, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if you can get that effect by putting 
a little bit of yellow and white or even just white in between again in between that line of blue and yellow maybe just a, like a thin line even keeping okay. it like vert arm um, horizontally as you go through i don't know try both i think that it's looking amazing it's good <laughs> yeah. Perfect. thank you yeah um, no problem all right One thing I just did to kind of help mine to blend up the yellow up into the blue, um, I just took a little bit of yellow and white together and did a few pass throughs in the middle. I'll show you the other way. Let's see, I already had that blue up there. It was already up to that line here and I just added a little more yellow and blue or yellow and white up into it kind of in the middle. So that might help too. Okay. You know, the more you add, then it, it just starts changing everything. <laughs> When do we stop? Is the, does this look better? Oh, wait, that's my face. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think it looks okay. really good. Excellent. Okay. I think I would leave it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job. Yeah, you can just go back and forth. You add too much yellow, you can add more blue. Just sneak it in there. All right. Now for the fun part, we get to start adding clouds here in a second. Go ahead. When you are done with that, you can wash off your brush and set it down. So there is two different types of clouds that we can make. Um, well, there's quite a few, but I want to show you this. Um, we have with the flat top brush, you can make a cloud that's a little, um, so I'm going to show you on here. Right in here, you kind of have more straight lines in the cloud as you kind of pound that um, flat top in. So you can create clouds this way by just kind of pushing on it. Um, the other clouds like up here, you're going to use this filbert brush and you'll kind of do little C's, just like a, a C motion to kind of put it in. And then they always kind of taper off at the end and kind of get really, really small, but you can go big in the middle. And I mean, clouds are all sorts of sizes. So um yeah i'm gonna get creative with it but it is fun so who's ready to start clouds anybody ready okay awesome see some thumbs thumbs up okay so we'll start with this here let me get this real quick maybe i can show you a few clouds up close i don't know if it'll show up on this but I'm gonna do like a gray cloud with a little bit of white and black on here, to see if it helps. So I start out with this filbert brush and I'm just gonna start out little and it's marbled. So I have a little bit of black, a little bit of white. So you should see kind of the silver lining and I'm trying to do it black for you guys on purpose so you can see it. 
um, normally they wouldn't be this dark. But you see how when as I do that C motion, you can kind of see some of those highlights from the white come in. And you just kind of do smaller little C's, C shapes here and there. Add a little bit of white to your brush. So we're just gonna dot it in and do little C's to that. So you can we're gonna do that on the canvas, but with like just whites and pinks and just different highlights. So probably not as much gray. Um, so I'm gonna wash that out. Make sure your um, filbert brush is wet. Wet it down and then dry it so it's ready and pliable. And we're gonna start up here with, um, let's see here, we'll start over here in this corner with the white color. So we'll do just a little bit of white, maybe a tiny bit of black in there, just peppered in there. We don't want a lot, but just for some highlights. So I didn't do a lot. It almost looks like a gray in there. It's not much. I'm gonna hold it kind of at an angle. I'm gonna start with like the middle section where there's some bigger sweep throughs. So I'm just gonna start laying it on. I do that C motion and I also do some padding. So try it out. Like that. Let me change the view here. All right. You can add a little bit of pink to your brush too, mostly white, and then add a little bit of that pink in there for some highlighting. So I'm gonna add some highlights. Touch it in. You can do a couple different trails, and I like to just kind of dot it with that filbert brush, just to kind of poke in a few, a few little dots in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more over here. Just kind of do variations. You don't have to do the same rhythmic C motion the whole time, but if you just do the C and then a few dot dot little tiny C's in there, it'll help it to look more organic, natural, and then taper off the end. And it can have a few different places where it's tapering off. And please, if anybody has questions, just pop on here and I'll look at, take a look at it. And I can go over um, some of the techniques again. So I'm just kind of adding, if you want to highlight, you just, you mostly have white on there, but then you can add to your brush just a little bit of a different color. So if you want to have darker clouds, you put a tiny bit of black in there and that will show a little bit of depth to your clouds, or they're a little bit heavier, they're ready for rain. Um, I'm gonna put a few, just I'm gonna dot a few coming off in the top a little bit there. Um, you can add some yellow in there as well. I would, um, you, if you don't have too much pink on there, you could probably just add yellow. I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow into the cloud there, just kind of push down and taper it off. There. How we doing? Do you have a happy little cloud, anybody? <laughs> happy little cloud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. gonna add a few up here, some tiny ones. I had to put a little bit of yellow and white into this one. Just kind of dotting it in. So right there, a little drifter over here. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and move over to this other side. Um, I'm going to put some white, maybe a little bit of that black in there. I don't want to make it too black, but I want some depth in there. So well, that's probably too much. Oof. To go over that one. Just going to dot the ends in there as they taper off into the sky. 
add some more white on top of that because that got too dark. And go ahead, I mean, if you want the clouds to look thicker, I add a lot of paint onto mine. I mean, pretty fair amount so that the paint will peek off of the canvas in areas. And that'll really help to show the cloud, get the cloud effect in there. So I add a lot and then I do that C motion. And I'm going to bring this up close so you can see what I'm talking about. Do you see how some of the clouds, they have a full, you can see the outline is full. It's because I added a lot of paint on there and then I swept through in that C circular motion and you can see where it's popping off the canvas a little bit. So it's okay to use a little bit more paint on these if you need to and then have fun with it because it just adds a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna sweep through some highlights of yellow in there. Just touch a little bit of yellow on the tip of my brush here and sweep it in in different areas. It doesn't have to be all over, just want it to show through. There's a highlight here and there. Also want a little bit of pink, so I'm putting some pink on the end too. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. Just to show it's catching some of that sunset there. Okay. Right underneath it, there's another cloud, so we can put that in. And also, just want to reiterate, this is your sky. So if you're feeling, it depends on your comfort level. If you feel like you want to have just a few clouds, it's fine. You don't have to put as many in there. Um, it does make the um, the sun rays a little more effective when there's a lot of clouds in there. I think that makes it look a little better. But um, it's up to you, however many you want to put in there. So I'm going to go below here with um, some pink and some white. And just kind of sweep in another cloud right underneath that is really pink. So I'm going to add more white on top of that. I'm just going to kind of let this one's going to be a funky shape. Just get it all, all sorts of edge, edges coming off there, tapering off. Can add a little bit of yellow in there if you'd like and white. Or just add some dynamic to it and make it look a little 3D. Adding some colors in there. Okay. Let it go off to the side a little more. I forgot to mention, you know, this is fun art, not fine art. So we're going to have fun tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One thing I like to always reiterate, sometimes we're hard on ourselves, but be kind. Be kind to yourself. If you're doing something new tonight, good on you. That's awesome. <clears throat> this is great. Just try to enjoy the process, you know. Art is very healing. It's fun to get creative and get out of the norm. Okay, so I went ahead and I kind of tapered that one off a little bit further than this one on top of it. Okay, and everybody's is going to turn out a little different. So at the end, if we want to take a big group picture, that'd be awesome. It'd be fun to do. Um, also, if you guys are taking pictures with your group or whatever on your own, feel free to share them at the end. That'd be fun to see what you guys did up close if you share them on Facebook or whatever. That'd be fun. I'd love to see all the unique paintings at the end. Even mine doesn't ever turn out exactly the same. So, all right, I'm going to do a white and pink over here on this side, kind of coming down from that first one we did. This one's coming off the side of the canvas and then kind of gets smaller. So just put a little bit of white and pink. To deepen up the clouds too, you could put a little bit of blue in there or to add like a purple highlight. Could put some purple into your pink. Went ahead and did that and I'm just kind of dabbing it in there with this filbert. I really like the effect. So 
So it's like there's this huge cluster of um, clouds that are coming off here. After that, we're going to add a lot of fun clouds. And this is where your sun is going to peek out of. So it's, we're going to start on this now. We're going to move into that area. So I'm going to lighten up the bottom here with some white. Just to highlight that, put a silver lining on it. And then we're going to go into some more pink and purple. So if you have a little bit of purple that you mixed in, still use that. Or you can make a little bit more or just add some blue into your brush. We're going to do some more fun clouds. A lot of activity in here. Storm is rolling in or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty peaceful. Just add some, add whatever you feel is needed. So you can add a little bit more white to your brush and then just start working it into the colors. If you feel like it got too much pink or too purple, add some white in there. Um, we want that to kind of come out. It's going to come out to where, think about where you want your sun to be and it's off center, it's not center, it's kind of right there in that cloud. So we're gonna put some white right above it, but I want that darkness right above the white. So we're letting that kind of come out far enough to encase that, really make that sun pop in your sky. So don't look at that. I'm gonna wash off some of that, wipe out some of that pink and do some white and a little bit of blue up above this too. So we're just kind of filling in this area with more clouds, more shadows, making the sky come to life. Can add a little bit of pink in there. I'm gonna cover it up with some white. Okay. And then up here, after this little addition that I put here, I'm gonna go ahead and add another formation of clouds in here. Kind of connecting all of them almost. You know, so start with white and yellow on my brush. I did not wash it off, I just kind of scraped off a lot of the color. I'm just gonna put a few clouds in here, they're brighter. I hope you're enjoying painting clouds. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? It's going. It's going, yeah. I think I didn't get that one cloud that took over towards the middle. Didn't get it into the yellow as much as it should be. Okay. Can you put a little more white in there and then you can put some yellow on top of it? Well, I brought it down. And okay. Now it looks like a uh, flying alligator. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's it. Awesome. Let's put some elephants in there too, right? Gotta have shapes and animals in the sky. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of pink, white up here. Put some more clouds in there. Kind of overlapping each other. You can touch it over the other clouds that you created already. It's kind of fun. Can you hold it up close to the screen? I'm just trying yes. to get a little. For sure. So, so far that's what I've got. Would you like to see the sample or is that help? No, that's I was just trying to get a better idea of my cloud. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Hold it up there for a second. So did you do that last big cloud? You started it with yellow more? This one here, yeah. A little bit more yellow? Yellow and white. I started that and then once I got that in there, I added the white and the pink up top and kind of snuck it into the white and yellow a little bit and kind of added it around, okay? okay. 
and kind of taper it off a little bit over here. And then there's a little bit of activity over here too. Just some white and yellow, a little bit of pink. More pink in there. It's okay if they don't look exactly like mine, you guys. Just keep adding them in there. If you need help, please holler. Just pop on here. When bringing stuff up close again. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add in some white clouds right underneath this area where our sun is going to be. And then we'll add in the sun in a minute. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's get some white. And I want it to be really white. If you have to wash off your brush, you can. White with a little hint of yellow, but mostly white in there. Just kind of coming up right underneath that pink and purple cloud that we created. So I'm gonna. Wash off my brush real quick. Bring it out a little more of that white and pink. Or white and yellow, sorry. And I think it's too yellow. I want my sun to really stand out. So I'm gonna add more white on top of this. And dab it in. So I can get a really bright sun poking out of these white clouds. Bit of clouds over here in this corner too. Some pink, white, yellow. All right, so when you're ready, whatever brush you're comfortable with painting a half of a circle um, for that sun, you can go ahead and start painting that in. Um, one thing I have noticed is the titanium white usually helps your um, yellow to cover up the background color. So if you feel like the, um, the background is not um, getting covered up with this yellow. Yeah, it's going to probably need a coat of white. So I'm going to add white to my yellow for this first layer. And then um, we can add pure yellow in there in a minute. So we'll just kind of put it in there. Probably going to bring the clouds down a little bit further after I get my sun in there. So again, add white to cover up some of that sky. And then you'll be able to add some more yellow on top of that. Once it dries. Okay. All right. How big is the sun supposed to be? Like a quarter size? Yeah, about yeah. that. Yep. Okay. I mean, it's up to you. That's about what it looks like there. And 
probably bring a little bit more of the clouds down around the sides there, but I think I'm going to hold off and wait until that dries now. Then I'll add the next layer of yellow after afterward. All right. How's everybody doing? Check up on you guys. You ready for some water? Who's ready for the water? Not yet. <laughs> I'll wash off that filbert brush when we're done with it. Set it aside. I think I think I messed up. Oh, let me. Oh, let me figure out what I'm doing with this. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, you see how the sun? Say that again. Did I, put, did I put too much white under the sun? Maybe, maybe a little bit too much under. What you could do is um, put a little bit, make your sun come down. So see where your clouds are like below it. Like make your sun come down into that. I keep it down here? Yeah. yeah. So even just wherever the edge of your, um, the white is, just make your sun come down to that. Um, and once it dries, you can put it in better. And then your sun, maybe even just a little bit further down from the cloud into the pink. That'll be really cool. Right down here? Yeah, I think that'll really sh shine really nicely if it's right against the pink. Yeah, maybe just a, just a tad higher than that, okay. but so, yeah, right in there. So just- So then do I need to cover this up? Like make it look like another cloud? Yep, you'll just put a little bit of white and pink on top of that top portion and then pull pull it down a little bit. And once it dries, you'll be able okay. to hide it really good. So you can um, kind of put in the okay. shape of it before it dries where you want to put the sun. And then we can, you can add a little bit of pink um, clouds kind of coming into that area where the sun is right now. Just kind of sneaking okay. in on this. Um, okay. We still working on clouds? How's, how's everybody doing? You done with the clouds? Oh, no, I see no. <laughs> okay, I'll give you another minute. <laughs> Take a drink. Yeah. You said to put this up around in this. I have not been to Harding Lake myself, so I might have driven by it. I might be lying, <laughs> but it looks like right. right. You can see it, yeah, from the road. You can see it from the road. You can see it. My background picture is from the deck at Party Lake, looking at the actual sunset. Oh, look at you. Yeah, nice. Okay. Oh, cool. wow. I like it. Yeah. I love how Zoom does that. It's so cool. In the pink. <laughs> That's all right. I'm just gonna make mine a cloud with the yellow coming off of it. I don't know any. <laughs> well, we're not muted. <laughs> we gotta mute ourselves. <laughs> Great. It's nice to hear someone other than myself. <laughs> well, we're, he keeps asking me, and I don't know. I'm trying to get him to show you, but he's like, "No, I can do it." <laughs> oh, show me. Who is it? It's my husband. Hello, husband. <laughs> there he is. What's going on? Can I help you? Oh, that looks really cool. Very nice. What was your question? Uh, where, where's the sun going? Uh, what's all the yellow for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, right? So, okay. Exactly. See, I love That's what mine looks like. Those are some great <laughs> Okay. So the sun that's up at the top, you have a little, do you have another little bit of like two suns? Oh, I just, uh, I went up here and then she said it needs to go down here. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's better down there. I like it down there. Way better. So one thing I would do, your yellow is probably mostly dry up there. Add a little bit of white and some blue into, um, into that yellow or even eliminate that first one that you did obviously cover over it. Um, but I'll bring this one closer. So the yellow's there, but it's also got pink in the middle of it and some blue coming into it. So turn your brush like this when you're adding a little bit of paint in, 
and just kind of add some highlights in there. Um, you could do like a white or even maybe white and blue just to kind of go through the middle of where your blue and the yellow are connecting and help kind of bring some of that blue into the yellow so it's not just so yellow, but it's looking really, really good. So just have fun with it. Add a little bit more texture in there, okay? More colors. <laughs> I like it. Good job. What's your husband's name, Dion? Is it Dion, right? Travis. Travis. Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. My husband's name is Dion. I know it's I we went over this. <laughs> we did. I came to one of your things. And yeah. I know. Oh, I love it. It's so good to see you. Yeah. It's good to see you too. I was glad to see you were doing this. He saw this and he's not, he's not one to do this stuff with me, but he was like, oh, I'll do that one because <laughs> cool. he likes Harding Lake. So <laughs> very cool. I figured it might be something y'all would enjoy. Close to home. All right. Give you one more minute to kind of finish up the sky and then we'll move on to, um, onto the lake, the water. Shonda, how's it going over there? No? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's not like it. <laughs> not good. What? Oh, do you paint very often? I'm very much an amateur. Okay, well, that's awesome. Well, here you are just having fun. Well, if you have any questions, I can kind of give you tips too. If you want to show me, I don't know. I don't want to show you, but the white around the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was there. I could come over there and just tell you. <laughs> well, I'm glad you joined. Have you, have you ever joined one of our paint nights before? Or is this the first one? Not one of yours, no. Well, I, I've done paint nights, but not, I've only done a handful, so. Yeah, well, that's fun. They're, they're a good little outlet. Fun yeah. No, it's fun. But yeah. I definitely don't have the talent, but that's okay. It's still fun. You're learning. You're, you've only done a few. Don't judge yourself too harshly there. <laughs> oh, glad, you're the, glad you're here. Laura, you doing good? Ah, good. All right. It's sort of. It's Kevin. I'm playing with him. That's awesome. You can see Jessica's crew back there. Karen, are you in there? Karen, Karen, woohoo! I saw you last time, and I never really—I didn't know if it was you until the end. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm glad you're here with us. Oh. All right, Jennifer, can't see your face or your painting. Glad you're here, though. <laughs> Kathy, what are you drinking? Um, well, I didn't have any Pepsi, so I made um, a cranberry lime salsa water with cherry, <laughs> with the cherry lime. Uh, <laughs> Add it, you know, those little packets go in water. Nice. Okay. Powder yeah. packets. Yeah. So I just mix them together. So I have bubbly cherry nice. lime slash cranberry lime drink. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jennifer. You popped on. Hey, girl, how are you doing? Good to see you. All right. Hey, I keep hitting buttons with my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, I never don't like clouds. So <laughs> I'm not doing clouds. You you don't like your clouds, or you're done with your clouds? I gave up on them. You gave up. On them. <laughs> <laughs> you know they're they're, they're not. You know. <laughs> but when you get used to them. Uh, oh. On. Yeah, that's awesome. It's looking really good. I can see clouds in there. I can see that there's some. I did a little thingy. ones. Yeah. Yep, yep. Good. Good deal. All right. Did I give you enough of a minute or two? I think we, we waited like three minutes, possibly. All right. So we're going to start on the water now. And um, it's pretty similar to the sky, the background, how we did that. So we'll marble our brush with some blue and some white together and we still want some of the um the white to show through the brush or as as we sweep it through to have those highlights in our water so go ahead and get some blue and a little bit of white in there okay. 
And we will go ahead and bring this right up to the horizon. So we're going to bring that blue up there. Oop. I was wondering why there was extra paint over here. I'm flinging it. <laughs> paint the walls. <laughs> so much for the white background. <laughs> That's funny. Tonight, mm. it's going to be speckled. All right. So keep adding white and blue to your brush. Generous amounts. And we'll just sweep it through. So when we're done with the water at this point, our whole canvas will be filled in with paint. Okay. So keep adding it wrapping it around the sides of the canvas as well. Ah. Sorry. So if you feel like your water is a little too light because you added too much white, add some more. I just added some solid blue in there and I'm just going to sweep through. So you'll have those shadows coming in there what you want and some highlights. So water is very forgiving. Oh. I'm pretty much just pulling this straight across. If you want to make your water choppier, you can. But and then if your sky is semi-dry, you can pick it up and paint underneath it too. Because if you're going to hang this, it's going to be really obvious, you know, <laughs> yeah, that there is nothing under there. So I'm going to just throw a coat of paint at the bottom. Oop. Okay, so I'll go ahead and throw some highlights in there. Sweep it through while it's wet. I want some of those ripples to show the water. Also adding some of the dark streaks here of pure blue. Solid blue. One thing I've learned too, if you wanted like a deeper blue than even the blue that you have, you could add a little bit of red to it, not much. Red or a little bit of pink to it. And it kind of deepens it up. Maybe just a little bit though, or you'll get purple. So if you want some darker ripples in there, you can pull that through. And we're going to go ahead and pull in a little bit of the purple as well to kind of bring in the horizon. Just the horizon's really like reflecting off the water here. You see that? So we're gonna start pulling in some color off to the side. Um, hold on over here. We're gonna add some white in there in a minute. But off to the right-hand side of the canvas, I'm just gonna pull in some pinks and white. And like I said, that little technique that I use, I go in straight like this. I lay my paint on first this way and then I lightly pull through vertically, so horizontally and then vertically for the pull through. And I just did some light pink and a little bit of white together, or pink, yeah, pink and white. Off here to the side. 
sweeping it through so there is some of that reflection sunset on my water i love it it's beautiful i want to go there probably not right now but a little too cold <laughs> <laughs> Making me want some beach time. Okay. That's me. Okay, so you're adding some purple, huh? Yep, some purple in there. And you can kind of, I was doing it more to the, the right hand side for now. Um, uh, maybe something different where the sun is, like right below the sun. Make that pathway. I'm going to start to make this glow from the um, from the sun onto your onto the water. It's a little tricky because you don't want to make green again. So I'm using this big brush still. I'm doing a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. Again, if you're making green, then don't use the yellow. Just use the white for now. Um, but it's kind of you're pulling it on. And kind of sweeping through into the water. You want to stay below your sun. So think about where your sun is going to be and kind of center that, all these highlights like right below it. Okay. And we're going to bring that highlight all the way up to where the dock is pretty much. Turn around here. So for now, we're just kind of laying on some white, and a little bit of yellow in there. This will really help the pink to kind of pop through too. It's going to be a little bit of a layering process. Are you using your large brush? I'm still using that big one. Yep. The big one? Okay. Yep. If you feel like you get a better blend with another brush, go ahead and feel, feel free to change that up. And you're using like a white, right? Wash yep, there. a little bit of white. There's a little bit of yellow in there too, but mostly white for now, just to kind of lay out a little map of where I want my pink to go. Okay. It almost goes all the way down to the bottom of the canvas, and then I'm just going to stop there. So then you can slowly, after you get that white in there, you can slowly move some pink into it. Okay, so I'm just kind of adding pink here and there into this. Very lightly, I have my brush kind of tilted with the shape of the canvas. So I'm kind of up against it like this, like it's not directly pointed at the canvas. It's kind of tilted like, like this so that I can kind of use the edge, like not just the tip, but the bristles here on the side too, to help lay it on. Um, just kind of etching it in and going back and forth kind of blend it. So just start sneaking in some pink very lightly. Keep your brush tilted at an angle and go over those areas with the white. You can even go further out into your water. Okay. 
This whole process is a layered effect, so we'll add more colors. We're gonna add some yellow in there too. So we're just kind of touching in pink for now. Another thing, if you feel like it got too blunt or too big with the, the pink going into the, it's not really fading very well into the water. Once this pink dries, you'll bring some blue very carefully back into the pink. It's just a process. So get that pink in there <laughs> and don't worry too much. Trying to keep it thin on the ends, but I'm not too worried because I know that I can bring that blue back into it to eliminate some of this pink if I need to. And as we get closer to where the sun is, it's going to be more of a yellow, just like a pure yellow up here. So I don't really need to cover a lot of that in with pink. Add a little bit of white in here in between my pink because I'm going to have a highlight in the middle where I want that yellow to go. So the more I lighten it up, the brighter that yellow can shine. So I'm just going to kind of try to get it in there. Letting it up in the middle. That might be hard to do because it's wet. So, kind of play with it. I get my um, my brush kind of loaded with white, and I'm very careful. I'm putting it on there pretty thick, and then brushing it through. Mm -hmm. So if your blue is dry, um, semi-dry, you can, you can put a little bit of white and yellow up here close to the sky, or to the water line. And kind of slowly bring it down into the pink. It's okay to have some of the blue coming through because it's the water, so some shadows in there. Okay, I'm slowly starting to kind of pull some of this yellow and white mixture. I kind of have it heavy on my brush like that. And I'm starting to kind of zigzag it through my, um, 
my trail of white that I made here in between the pink very carefully so I don't make orange exactly. I'm just trying to kind of lay it on top really, really lightly. So stay light and just kind of go back and forth and try to put it in here and there. And wipe off the pink if you pick up any pink and then start again, load up your brush. It's okay to get some orange in there. Get that highlight. Working hard out there. Concentrating. <laughs> oh, I hear you. So I'm just going to add a little bit of blue back into my water here. If you want to do that, you can. Depends on, you know, how much of a highlight you want. Add a little bit. So sharpen up some of the edges there. Still see you all painting away. Hope it's coming along good over there. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you another minute or so on that, that water. And then we can start painting in the, the land back here, some rolling hills back in the background and possibly start on our dock after that. So when you blended your purples and your blues, how did you kind of just do that? over no. your uh do you use the blue to do that kind of blend that in no, blend the um the purple on the highlight are you talking about this portion here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay say the question one more time okay, how do I I know, okay. okay yeah yeah how do you kind of blend those edges okay so to use the flat of the of the brush yes so i would pull a little bit of like more of a sharp point of pink in between here and there and that into that yellow maybe um is that kind of what you're talking okay. about with the blend i would do yeah, that. that and the purple into the blue yep and then at the okay. end like when this starts to dry what i really liked um it makes it more realistic is we'll take that little detail brush and we'll put some pure blue just ripples 
across it and it Got really it. helps to tie things together. Also, we'll put some white lines in there. Okay. 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 And then when you're done, you can wash off that brush, but keep working at it. You have another little bit here. A few more minutes. For this background, we're going to use the flat top. So if you've washed it, dry it off. And the bigger flat top, right? The bigger. Yep. The I'm bigger using top. the bigger one because I have more control with it, but it depends on how you feel with yours. Um, you can go down to the smaller one if you feel like you have more control. Um, what I'm going to start with, because there is a a lighter gray where it's just like these heels are overlapping so i don't know if you can see it in here very well but you see how that's a little lighter up here it's like there's a little there's some heels back further and these are going to be lightened up with a little bit of white so you'll take a little portion and mix up a dark gray but something that'll contrast the black because we'll do that light gray first and then we're going to go over it with some pure black until the end here okay and then we'll go ahead and leave our water alone to dry while we're doing this oh somebody somebody's oh, somebody. ipad died i thought i noticed somebody was not there hmm. What do you need, babe? Oh, you have a good well, I already made one. Yeah. Let's see if I can get them back on. Well, hopefully I can get them back on here. All right, looks like they their iPad died, so they gave up. <laughs> they'll they'll watch the recording. If we can get that to them. All right. So okay, so we're gonna begin to um, do our landscape here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white, some of my black, and make a nice light contrasted gray so that it'll show up. You can 
just mix up a darker gray on your palette. And we're going to start on this right hand side and I'm just going to start from the edge. It's going to be higher here and then I'm going to pull through to make some um, some bumps there so it's not completely smooth and I'm going to go until I just kind of fade out by the water. Okay, and you can paint all that in there. Did you guys get to do that with me? So we should have a gray section that kind of fills up a little bit like halfway, all the way halfway there, tapering it down toward the middle. And then we're going to take pure black. I did not wash my brush. I just kind of dip it back in there, scrape off that gray. The black will probably eat away all the gray. We're going to start at the opposite end. Once you have that gray in there and we've kind of made some landscape, okay, we're going to start on this side and it's about the same height as the gray. And we're going to slowly come down. You can make it a little uneven. And we're going to kind of come out in front of that gray. Okay, and now at this point, fill in all of the mountains and land back here all the way up to the water. So we're going to try to make as straight of a line as we can for our land line there with black. Okay, so I'm going to start over here and it's okay to go a little bit into your, your um, water to do this too. So at this point, you should have those two, the, the landscape back there all completed. Painting around the sides as I go. Okay. How's it going? Did you guys get that in there? Let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna be, is everybody kind of working with me? Did you guys get the heels in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you still working yeah. on the water? You guys doing good? Okay. <laughs> We're doing okay. <laughs> good. <laughs> Making a straight line is not real. It's not very easy. Yeah. yeah. It's not perfectly Agreed. straight. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, mine isn't perfectly straight either. Oops, I need to just stop <laughs> making my land bigger and bigger every time. Yeah, mine is too. That's why I'm like, oh, I gotta stop here. <laughs> it's getting thicker and thicker. Right, pretty soon around mountains are already like. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give you guys another few seconds to finish that up and then we're gonna move to the dock, which is fun. It's just like a little, you gotta think of it I don't know, with, with angles here, I'm gonna angle our brushes a little bit to get the shape in. But yeah, you might have to go down to the smaller, smaller flat top brush for some of this, but you'll know. <laughs> you'll know when you get there. So it's up to you too, on your dock, you can make, 
your dock a little more 3D instead of just pure black. On this, it's just black. I saw some people um, last time putting some slats of wood in there too, so you That's can do about. gray lines or some highlights with white. Yeah. So, and it's kind of fun being at home too with all your paints. You can just kind of keep adding extra details as much as you want. Okay. So, for the dock, the dock is centered, pretty much centered in this photo. And I'm going to kind of bring it up close to you guys. So we're going to start, notice that it is wider, okay, at the, the bottom of the canvas, and then it moves in to get skinnier. And I want to, I want to say, and let me see if I'm right, this portion is half. Like if you doubled that, like the length mm -hmm. of the end of the dock, that would be how wide you want your dock to be down here. Okay, so I want you to think about that, however wide you do this, and if you want to, if this is where math, this is the only math that we'll do, um, <laughs> split your canvas into thirds, so like one, two, three, it's kind of how it is, like centered, and it's about, proport to be proportionate, it, you, you can have it bigger if you want, or smaller, it's not a big deal, but think of, just kind of eye it, and think of like a third of it, and just kind of center it. Okay, and then take half of that, and that's how wide this should get, or how wide or narrow it should go at the end. And it's about halfway through, this is about halfway through the water. So if you want to bring that up, when you start to put it on there, it's gonna look funny until you're like, you're like did it do too, too wide? Once you have it on there and start filling it in, it'll look better. But, so get those two areas marked, Try to kind of eye out. How what far up? Oh, how, how far up into the canvas, into the water area? Does so it look I want to say it's about half well? of the water. Like, it depends on how okay. far you're down because this so. is less than half. So if you're eyeing your water, I would say go up. Let's see. Or actually, if you do this, how about this? So if you measure that third, this is so much too much math for our artistic minds. A third. <laughs> if this is a third of your canvas right here that should be about a third as well. So kind of make it as wide it is as okay. it is here. Make that the same um, length, okay? So go ahead and do that. Got it, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, got it. Help you. So if you want to mark it out with like a light gray or, or dark blue, you can. I'm just gonna mark mine out here, eye this. Good God. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. It just kind of helps you to have it. So remember to put this in at an angle. And if you start smaller, you can always get bigger, but if you start too big, it's too late. Put it at an angle, huh? Yep, it's going to be tilting in, so let's see here. That's about right. Okay, so once I have those two marks down here, if you can see those, I'm going to kind of measure it, get it with my, get the measurement with my finger and kind of go up and eye where it's going to be at and make a little line there. That's how far I want to go up. So measure that and then tilt it and you'll, you'll be able to put a line there. And then to know how wide you want it, just half of the length of your, your bottom, sec, um, bottom section here, half of that should be how wide this is. So that's about right. Does that make sense? Did I say that correctly? So if you split this yeah, in half, that should be how wide the end of your dock is, centered. And then you can connect those two lines. So I'm using my big brush because I can get a straight, straight enough line with it. But if you feel like you need to go down to a smaller size, go for it. Okay. Whatever is com most comfortable for you. And then we'll connect those two lines. And that's where it looks funny at first. Until you start <laughs> <to play with. laughs> so we'll fill that in with pure black. And you can add some details in there later if you want to, or you can make it a lighter, light gray, however you want to do that. I am going to lay my paint on, oops, ah, horizontally. If you go outside of the lines, guys, it's not the end of the world. We can always put some blue back into that when it dries. So I'm not too worried about my mess up there. <laughs> Just fill that in horizontally here.
If you want to have some highlights in there, you can add, while it's still wet, add a little bit of white in there and have a highlight. Because I know the sun is shining, you probably, you probably do have a glare on your dock at this point. So you could put a little bit of the white in there if you want to add some details, but it's not necessary. I would just do it here and there and horizontally. So it looks like it's the grain, you know, going with the grain of the wood, wood slats. Okay. So here's where I'm going to change down to a smaller brush size. If you have one. If not, you can continue using that or your small detail brush would work too. So we're going to put these posts on the dock and we're going to kind of keep it in line with the dock straight up you always put them pointing straight up okay um these ones i'm just gonna add in a couple here on the ends and i'm using my small square top brush my smaller one to fill this in i'm gonna try to move you a little bit closer here So they kind of stay the same height as the one across from them. It's lined up the edge. Okay. I'll give you a second to do that. And then um, I'll show you how to add the next one in. Oops. Closer. All right. There, so they're getting a little bit longer as they come closer to you, but they don't ever go past this one, okay? So they will never go higher technically than this first one that we put on there, okay? But we're going to go down a little bit. What I'm going to show you is they start a little bit out from this first one and a little, a little bit out and a little bit further down. So you just take it out a little bit and then you just go straight down to where it connects with the dot. So you don't want to tilt it any, just bring that line, bring that line down. So you kind of go make, make sure there's a little space in between the first one and the second one that you're doing and go down a little bit until it connects, mm -hmm. okay? And the second portion. This can get a little tricky. Yeah, and then you just mirror it on the other side, the same height. And you just bring it down, straight down into your dock. Next one that I do, I'm gonna go down a little further and out a little further for this one. Okay, and I'm just gonna pull it straight down until it connects to my dock. My dock's not wide enough. I can't pull them straight down. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. Do you need to make it a little wider? That should help it. No, yeah. Do you want me to look at it? Oh, I think I I think just making it wider is what you okay. said is That'll help probably it. get a better angle off of them. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and then there should be one more post. After you add those three in on each side, there's one more to bring in. The end here. Go a little further. Down a lot further. Pull it straight down. And mirror that on the next side, opposite side. Okay, hey, how we doing out there? Do you have a doc yet? <laughs> I, got a, I got a doc. No, I see Paula and Laura say no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you gotta show me now. I'm gonna see. <laughs> I love your hands. All painted. I have some too. <laughs> and my arm. Yeah, I'm getting paint everywhere tonight. <laughs> yeah, has got it too. <laughs> okay. Tell me those docs. I want to see some docs. Anybody got well, a doc? I'll show you as far as I got, as close as I got to a doc. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, that looks great. It looks like a doc to me. Looks good. I like it. Here, let's. We'll show you Travis's dog. Sure, He's Travis. not very happy about it. I think it's good. It's awesome. Yeah, that looks great. Good job. I like it. I like it. Thanks for showing me. I love it. Good job. Anybody else want to show me their dog? Sure. All right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, it looks Ooh, good. I love it. Good. I like the white highlight. Yeah, my my posts are a little weird. Your posts, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> but you know they're in the water, so you know that's right. It is what it is. <laughs> be an old duck. It's an old duck. It might be floating away soon. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Cool. How's everything else going, Jessica? How's your crew over there, Kathy? Ooh, Karen. 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 Sorry. Hey. I can't hear you, but I can see that you're trying to say something. But <laughs> I wish I could read sign language. Not there yet. Beautiful. I think I know that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Shonda's like yes. <laughs> I can do the ABCs. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer, how's it going over there? Oh, that's <laughs> that face. <laughs> I love it. I know this. It's a little tough. Oh, hey, looks good though. I love it. Your sky looks amazing too. I love it. Beautiful. You guys are doing so well. You should be proud of your docs. Who here has ever painted a doc before? Never. Yeah. See? Yeah. So you should be proud of yourself for trying something new. Karen, did you raise your hand? Oh, Jessica pretty i love it you're getting that dock in there <laughs> right now it looks a little interesting <laughs> halfway there <sighs> okay my grandparents have a cabin out there and that's what it looks like oh so it gets a little wider yeah nice okay cool well, i like what you did okay that makes sense it's like a little walkway to get out to the nicer big okay I see what you yeah, did. The black part is like a, a boat and wave runner dock. How cool. Okay. Neat. I like that. Um looks great. I like to I like that you're making it more realistic. Very cool. It means something. Maybe they'll you if they if you don't want it, you they'll take it because 
it's their dock, right? right. That's cool. <laughs> I hope you want it though. It's pretty. Yeah. But you got a lot of good memory I'm there. On the cloud. All right, cool. Yeah. We cool. need remedial remedial training on the cloud. <laughs> 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 Need more training on the cloud, yes. Yes, <laughs> I, those are interesting. Every class that I teach with clouds, it was like, help, these don't look right. But you start to yeah. get it after a while. You will start to get it. I got it after a while. We all get there. A little practice. Laura, you doing good? You're so dark yeah. up there. You just, yeah. <laughs> Hard to see. It's okay, though. It's fine. I understand. Just wanted to check in. Natural light for my painting. It's it's definitely making it interesting. But yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good though. I know, yeah, the angle. You gotta get the light on your canvas more than you do your face because <laughs> you gotta see what you're doing. Understandable. Okay, so let's see here. We're gonna go back to our sky in a second um, and then finish up our water. So we can, we, okay, one thing I wanna say for those of you, I think somebody said they're working on the clouds. Um, you want this to be dry to be able to do the sun rays. So don't do a lot up here. Huh. Hopefully you're finished with your clouds or you can add some in later after you do your sun rays. Laura, you just became visible. Hello, there's a Laura in the room. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sorry. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and make the sun a little brighter by adding some yellow in there. And then hopefully this is drying for you and you don't do too much more up there right now. Maybe wait till we do the sun rays and then you can add a few clouds in there if you're still feeling like you need to work on it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna add some yellow. And oh, and it's something that would be really good to do once you're done with your black, probably good idea to pour out your paint and get some fresh water for the sun rays because we want it to be white and not like gray sun rays. Because that would be very sad. Which brush are we using? Um. So it's up to you. I'm going to use this small square top for now and just see if I can fill in the sun with this one, but I may be changing that. So whatever one works for your painting. You do the I, yellow though, right? Yep. I just want that sun to really pop and it's already starting to pop because the extra yellow really helps. So I don't want to go into the cloud too much. Just the sun is. Okay. So I filled in that yellow on mine. Hopefully you got an extra layer. And then I need to switch out my water really quick. So give me a second. I'll be right back. Switch out your water too if you have not done that yet. Give me your money. Okay. Sorry about that. Here I am. All right, so who's ready for some sun rays? Who's ready? So it depends on what brush you can get a straight line with. You can use, I, I'm gonna use my big one. Um, you can use your smaller flat top too, either one. Um, but what we're gonna do is make a very watered down white, okay? So if you have a clean spot on your palette to mix just a little bit of um, water, and a little tiny bit of pure white. Mine is super colorful, so I'm gonna get some fresh white. It's a little bit, we don't need much. And one thing I want you to be careful with is um, not loading up your brush too much with this mixture. 
because it might run down your canvas instead of staying put. So you don't want it to be super watery to where it's going to run off. <laughs> but it has to be really, I mean, I'm just, you can't really see what I'm doing because it's white. Um, very watery, okay? Hmm. Just a very, like a, almost like I'm watercoloring now at this point. Oh. And you're use what brush are you using for this? I'm going to use the big one. Okay. And it's super watered down. Do you see how pale that is on my brush? It's like the white is almost not there, but it's there. And I, I'd, I'd rather, less is more. So just do a little bit at first. And then if it doesn't show up as much or enough, add a little more white to your water and go over it. But if it goes, it's too bright with one of your sun, your rays of light, it just overpowers the sky. So you want that watered look. And when you water it down, I mean, you see the contrast there from the how dark and dark, pure white the clouds are. And then this is just very watered down. We're going to start where the sun is and then kind of fan out, okay, with straight lines. Okay. So now be careful not to go over the yellow. You'll I mean, it's not a big deal if you get some yellow in there. Um, so just kind of go buy it. I already love it. I, <laughs> I love it. So start close to the sun and then go up and out. Just kind of a straight line. And all of them can be different lengths. Okay. And I, uh, you, I heard it. <laughs> too watery. Oh, too watery. Yeah. And then that drips. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, shoot. And then have fun with it. So you can do it both ways. You can either, I like the effect. See how my brush kind of divided yes. organically there? So it made a few different rays as I pulled up, so like with it lengthwise. So mess with it. Sometimes you want to go up straight and then you want to maybe do one the other way with tilting the brush a little bit. And then get a little more mixture on there. Very watered down, but not too watery. Right, Kathy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. So let's have fun with that. You can, woo, I love it. It's a fun effect. I hope you're loving it. How's it working out there for you? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine are too bold, probably. <laughs> too bold. Maybe just water it down a little bit. Or if your sky, if your sky is a little, too, if it's all dry, go ahead and get a little napkin and kind of wipe it off. Ah, just okay. with a tad bit of water on there, you can erase it, and then you should just get back to plain sky, and then you can try it again, water it down again. Did that work? Kind of? Yeah. Sorta. <laughs> Don't rub too hard. Sorta. Uh -huh. Yeah, just work at it. It should come off if you're very careful. Actually, by doing that, it makes them better looking. So. Oh, cool. There you go. Okay. A little bit. Oh my. How's everybody else doing? Guys, getting your sun rays in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really, mine mine turned out really good. <laughs> I haven't done this one in a while, so um I'm pretty happy about that. And it's hard to get it just right, and I have done it a few times, so it's it's hard to get the mixture perfect. Okay. Bad. Okay. Who's done with their sun rays? Anybody? Everybody still working on those? Oh, I'm done. I'm not gonna do any more. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. Love it. Oh, you're so good. Yeah, they look okay. They're not so bold anymore. <laughs> I love it. See, mine are oh, still beautiful. pretty bold. Yeah, they are a little bold, but they're pretty. That's awesome. I see them. Yeah, I think I'm going to like them like that. 
Yeah, I like it. <laughs> One of my future grandchild's room, so I'll just tell him or her that it's uh, grandma was thinking of them. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Cool. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to add a little bit of details into the water, and then we're pretty much done, and we can do like a group picture if you want. Sign it when you're completely done. I love it. Um, so what we're going to do is take some, take your fine detail brush. Okay, and I'm going to show you again what we're going to do to just kind of make this water look a little more natural. Do you see some of these little lines of pure blue coming in here? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we're going to make these little tiny wiggly lines. You can make them straighter if you want. Have a little tiny wiggle to it. We're going to put them in there, here and there, the dark blue, just plain blue, no white added. So I'm taking my brush, my fine tip brush. And I'm just going to add a few ripples. I'm trying to stay really thin with this, and you don't have to put a lot. Just a few here and there. And then we're going to do the same thing with the white, just a few white ripples with that same brush. Okay. Just wash off that blue, dry off your paintbrush, and then dip into the white again. And add some highlights here. And if you go over some of the pink and yellows, it's kind of nice. Nice effect there. Also, it's nice to have a few up toward the land a little bit. Really thin. Try to just stay really thin up there, though. And then sign it off to the right hand corner. We're done. Adding all those details. So glad you guys joined today. This is fun. We're almost ending on time, too. Wow. <laughs> You're getting good at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So good, planned it that way. Woohoo! <laughs> Some of the paintings just take, there's so many details, man. It's nice you can just sign off if you need to. It goes a little long. Well, in a minute, we'll do a screenshot if you all are willing to come up close to the camera and just kind of hold your painting up. That'd be fun for a big group photo. Um, okay. And then also just to say it again, if you didn't hear before, but if you want to take a picture of you or have somebody take a picture of you holding your picture or even just your picture um, in your own house and send it to me on Facebook, that would be amazing. It kind of helps to bring some life to see the activity, you know, for other people. If they, they see things are going on. It's fun. Right. So they can see that we are having fun here. Um, this was awesome. I really, really enjoyed this. Yes, this has been fun. I'm glad you came. In your own living room. That's great. <laughs> no. I'm in all of your living rooms. Yay. <laughs> or art rooms. <laughs> but I don't see everything. It's not great. <laughs> well, you can't see everything. Well, it would be it would be nice if you could you could actually get both the person and the painting in in but it's hard to do that. Yeah, it is. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta do it. Deal with what we have here. Yeah. Fun break, to be able to see everybody and 
I got to do something with my actual sun area, but I'm yeah. done for now. <laughs> I'll work on it some more. <laughs> you have time. Nothing but time. I know. I got lots of time. Oh, I'll set it up on the mantle and then I'll come back in about a month and think, okay, I can do that. <laughs> yep. That's the nice thing about it. Uh, you don't have to just do it right now. I know. I'm going to try it out. So here. Yeah, brushes are fast. Hot. Oh. Okay, ready for a picture? You have to wait a few more minutes. Oh, honey, yours looks really good. Okay. And people can't really see the details if there's something that's missing because it's pretty small. When it, when right. <laughs> Man, I'd be so excited if we could do these all in person again, too. But these are really fun, and I almost want to just continue these little quaint like, meetings on Zoom. I wouldn't mind that you'd continue them. At least maybe offer one a month or something right. like that. It's just such that a would, dynamic. That would be awesome. Huh? Yeah? Okay. I will totally I, do it. I was just going to say, my husband, he isn't really one to go out and do stuff like this outside of our home. But I think if you did them on my right. home, we'd probably do more. Yeah, I'll still come out there, but <laughs> yeah, no, I know it's just a different dynamic, and you can just be comfortable and not feel like you're too out, too out there. But still have some exactly. interaction. interaction. Exactly. Awesome. I love it. Okay, so yeah, when you're ready, come close to the painting ready. and or come close to the sorry, the camera or a turn. Yeah, I don't know. You won't get me. <laughs> I'm not able to hold mine, but I'm gonna stand in front of this one. Um, and I, because I, I have a way to. Oh, it actually looks better on there. <laughs> it looks but, really good. We're just, you really have to just step back. Guys, these are beautiful. I love this. Woohoo. Every one is so different, but yet so, like, it's gorgeous. They all have their own little yeah. touch. I love it. Oh, I like that one there. So come on close to the camera. Whoever Donnie is, is it Dion? Dion? <laughs> Actually, oh, that's Dion. my husband. I like hers. Oh, I like. Oh, that that's one. Travis. That's Travis, right? Travis's. Woohoo, Travis! Good job. Mm. This one's mine. Awesome, you guys. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, good that's job. Cool. Okay, so come on, everybody there. That okay. one's beautiful. Awesome. So, let's see here. Wow, they look great. Yes, they look awesome. So, okay, Dion and Travis, you guys ready to turn yours? Yeah. around okay and then if you can you might step back and kind of poke your head through if you want to and put a face by that painting okay ready there you go. Set. Yeah. go i'm gonna do a few here do? Okay. Oh, one more who in, in the middle here paula and laura one more time do we have two painting there or one oh, okay cool yeah one two three paint night <laughs> all right cool <laughs> yay thank you for joining yay. us guys so yeah well pictures. thank you dear <laughs> you take pictures tag me in them and i guess i just learned how to do that you can put the at sign and then alaska art and soul and it'll actually come on my page at oh, sign and then alaska art and soul. i just learned that nice <laughs> okay bye you guys have a wonderful bye. evening thank, thank you creative thank you bye-bye right. bye bye, bye.